video what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up the shooter game i made yesterday but there is a slight problem i can move my game and i can move the plane and it can fly off the screen and so i want to fix that let me demonstrate here i'm going to move the plane uh to the left huh <laughs> whoops uh what's wrong with my room uh, I must have hit delete accidentally. So uh, let me go to uh, my plane. I'll add a plane. Let me add an island one, an island two, and an island three. And let me go to backgrounds and put the water and set the speed to two. And now I'll show you how my plane should uh, unfortunately not work quite right because it should fly off the screen. So here's how I want to fix this part of the game up. So my plane is working here. When I go left, it can go all the way across the screen. Uh, when I go up, it goes all the way above. Uh, and I hear someone call it. There's a second problem, which I just noticed. Uh, it's because the order I put them in. Let me go to my plane. And uh, the problem uh, the person said is that my plane flew under the islands. So there's a property here called depth. And I'm going to make the depth negative. I'll put negative 1000. And that's obviously not going to be deep in the water. It's going to be negative. So it's above the water. So now that my plane is going to fly above. Okay, but that wasn't the problem. The problem is when I go left, I don't want to go left and go off the screen. So I'm going to use a variable. And I'll put a variable here and I'll test a variable called X and I'll make sure it's larger than uh, zero. But there's one other problem and I forgot to show you this as well. I just realized here I'm not making a very good video. Um, I actually wanted my plane to be centered. Um, I'm going to deal with the center of the plane. Everything is going to surround the center of the plane. So all of the enemies the bullets are all going to be centered. So I'm going to center the plane here. So notice it's 32 pixels wide and 32 pixels tall. And the origin of it, when I move it, it's all based on 0, 0 is the middle. Uh, anyhow, I'll show you why that matters. So what I did is I went to the left movement and I said, if X is larger than 0, well, then I can move left. So as long as the middle of my plane is above zero, which would be the edge here, um, I can keep moving left. And when I press play this time, it's gonna stop. However, that's not enough of a bounding. Let me show you what I mean by that. Um, when I move left, it's not gonna fly off the screen. It's gonna stop right here, right when it's sort of 50-50. Uh, I actually want it to stop maybe around uh, here maybe when it's about 20 pixels uh, to the left. So if I want to make that the boundary, what I would do is I would go back to uh, the move left of object my plane, and I would say, okay, let's say X has to be larger than 20. So it can't, uh, the middle of it, which is 16 pixels, uh, plus a couple for good measure, um, is the boundary uh, to the left. And I would do something very similar to the right. It's a little bit more confusing to the right. What do you think I should do for the right? I don't want it to be uh, larger than zero or larger than 20 even. In fact, I want the opposite. I want to make sure that it's smaller than. So smaller than what? Well, we had a built-in variable called room width. I don't know if you remember from yesterday. And in last class, I talked about the room width. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, however wide the room is, less, less a buffer of about 20 pixels, as long as X is smaller than that, I'm okay with jumping uh, right. Okay, so as long as my X coordinate is the room width, take away 20, because I don't want it to be half on, half off. As long as it's smaller than that, we can move it to the right. Uh, up and down are going to be very similar. And I'll just quickly do up and down and then I'll demonstrate. Uh, this time I want to test variable Y. And I want it to be larger than not just 0, uh, but say larger than 20. 
So as long as y is larger than 20, I'm okay with that. Uh, for down, I'm going to have a scoreboard, uh, which is about uh, um, a few pixels. So for the down movement, I'm going to do the same thing, except for I'm going to test variable y, and I want it to be smaller than the uh, room height. Uh, take away, this time, uh, a boundary of about 100 um, or 120. So I'll put those boundaries in. And now when I press play, um, it will be hard for you to realize it in the video, but you'll see I can't fly too far to the left, too far to the right, too far up and too far down. The plane will always be on the screen because I don't allow it. If the variable uh, gets to be too large, um, you'll see here it doesn't quite, uh, it can't fly off. And same with up, that's as far up as I can fly. And then down. Uh, that's as far down as I can fly. So it all works 